School is in session at Providence Park, a classroom of epic proportions. Very good. Uh, Providence Park, where we're at today, is a fantastic venue. Um, it's very visible in our community. It's a beacon of health care. Hold for two seconds and come back up. Feel that working in your hamstrings? Yeah. 75 student athletes signed up for this free injury prevention clinic sponsored by Providence Health and Services. Some brought along their coaches and their parents. A lot of questions were asked and answered, which made it very easy, because you're always worried when your child's out on the field. Try to keep them straight. Don't let them come in like this, because that puts a lot of strain on your knees. Clinics like this are just starting nationwide. Yeah, that was much better. Instructors find it hard to convince coaches and parents to buy into the exercises because they add time to practices and games. How many people came in a car today? And how many, how many of you wore seat belts? Team doctor to the Portland Timbers, Richard Edelson, recalls seat belts were controversial at first, too. The prevention benefits of this training, he says, are just as convincing. On two to three times a week, they cut down on the rate of injuries by 50 to 70 percent for all soccer-related injuries, and that also goes for other, other sports as well. And girl athletes, he says, are injured four to six times more often than boys. He calls it an epidemic. It's ACL or anterior cruciate ligament injuries alone in teenage girls, 45,000 ACL injuries a year. Parents know injuries are not fixed overnight, but long term. And one can lead to another. Sadie Soto's daughter broke her ankle. That led to a pulled hamstring. Yet she keeps coming back. It's my passion. I love it more than anything. They're going in no matter what. You're just like, just don't get hurt. Clinic sponsors hope kids will master these skills so they can enjoy sports the rest of their lives. For Providence, I'm Mike Donahue.